voice. Inuk singer-songwriter Susan Aglukark will be recognized for outstanding commitment to improving lives in northern indigenous communities at the Juno's opening night awards May 14th. This annual humanitarian award recognizes philanthropic efforts from Canadian artists and industry pioneers who've made a meaningful impact on social welfare, not just at home, but around the world. And here to share more of her heart than any human being should have to before seven in the morning is Susan Aglukark. Susan, good morning. Good morning. Uh, I look at the past winners here. Brian Adams, Neil Young, Sarah McLaughlin, the Tragically Hip. That is some company you will now keep. And look, you're no uh, stranger to winning Junos. You've won three over the years. But this has to be deeply satisfying for you, the recognition of the work that you do up north, that it has meaning and it has legacy. Absolutely, absolutely, George. And I'm so glad you put it that way because the award is, is acknowledging the incredible team we have. First of all, the Arctic Rose Foundation has a really wonderful team. But also, the work's been going on for a very long time. It didn't begin necessarily with the Arctic Rose Foundation. So we're looking at and acknowledging all the incredible work being done by all of our Indigenous uh, cohorts and partners and, and people that right. we love in our northern communities. Well, you mentioned it. Tell me about Arctic Rose. This foundation, um, you know, it's, it's a crusade to bring and recognize the culture and the creativity of the northern Indigenous peoples. It is. So the, 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 we know that this song, Arctic Rose. Arctic Rose was my first uh, experience in, in terms of expression, writing the right, co-writing, writing in the company of artists back in 91 and 1992. And this, this exposed me to the possibilities of healing, of getting better, and which is why we call it the Arctic Rose Foundation, which is why the Messy Book program. Messy Book is an expressive arts program. And in this program, we work with uh, community partners in this case, uh, Rankin Inlet is our uh, community partner, uh, launch p community. And there we have the Messy Book Program running participants when we can have them in. Um, we, we use all forms of art as expression. Um, and young people, children, as we know, are incredibly responsive, uh, have, uh, uh, have high capacity to, to receive information, to participate. These children, youth, they, they want better lives. They, they want access in the same way we get access here in Southern Canada. They want the same access. When we give it to them, sure. they respond. So yeah, so that's what we're working on. Well, you know, Susan, you and I kind of broke into our respective businesses around the same time. Uh, I've been following your career closely for, for all these years. And, you know, I, I see you as someone who's always, you know, despite the shortcomings in this country, you've always waved the flag here at home and abroad. And it's not so easy lately, you know, as an Indigenous role model and a leader with, uh, you know, Truth and Reconciliation, the Missing and Murdered Indigenous Women and Girls Commission, all the things that have been exposed, the unmarked graves now at the grad schools. You know, there is a shame cycle in this country, and it's, it's not easy to escape, but if you don't start somewhere, right? Absolutely, absolutely. And there is a catchphrase that we use in Inuktitut, which is Kisiani. And Kisiani just sums it all up together. We have to do the work. Mm. Kisiani means because we must. Um, mm. And we, ha we have the resources. We have the people. We have leaders. We have great artists. We have it all there. Um, and we're, we're doing incredible work now to, to be the Indigenous leaders for us, by us, to do that work because we know, we know uniquely what those challenges are and we can, we can be part of that healing, that healing stage. Congratulations, Susan Aglukark, with this humanitarian uh, award uh, from the uh, Junos. It's coming up on May the 14th. And this Sunday, your show, you've got a show in Burlington, right? Performance for Performing Arts Center. Uh, That's right. Launching live show. Boy, just as an artist and a fan of music, it must be fun to once again create the, or complete the creative circle, right? Playing for Absolutely. people, wow. <laughs> yeah, it is. Time to get back to work, yeah. right? It's time to get back. And our, and our communities are waiting. We've got a few communities on deck and we're waiting to get back to those places to share the art. Absolutely. Yeah, and art can go a long way uh, to yes. heal post-pandemic in all communities, including yours. And COVID has been a difficult time for the Indigenous peoples in this country. Susan Aglicart, yeah. congratulations. Couldn't think of a better person to get this one. Thank you. Enjoy your day. Thank you very much. Good to see you again. Good to see you too.